What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of the altcoins. We're going to be starting in here on Ethereum and we're also just going to roll down through the coins that I look at on a daily basis, do a little technical analysis with them. Just going to freestyle with you guys a little bit today. Don't really have much planned, but it's nice to see some of the altcoins getting some really big pumps here. I believe Link's almost at around $17 right now. So in our last Link video, we were talking about it off that 200 moving average at about $12.50. $13. So guys, the reason why I point that out is because learning technical analysis and where buyers are going to be stepping in or where sellers may be stepping in, that's the stuff that's going to help you. And that's why I created this channel to try to help as many people learn how to do technical analysis for themselves as possible. So that's what I'm looking to do today. If you get some from this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we're going to dig into this. So for Ethereum right now, we're sitting between support area. We want to hold roughly about $1,100. To the upside overhead resistance, we need to get up above $1,376. Now, thing I wanted to point out here, we did have a doji, and this was on the one-day time frame, and we also had a lot of climax volume up in this area right here, while the RSI is at 88. Stock right now is at 98.99. So if we do get a little cooling down period, which could happen, areas I'd look to see or to be a buyer. That, and this is not financial advice, that 20 EMA, typically in uptrends, we stay up above that 20 and that 50 EMA for the intermediate term trend. The longer to intermediate or the intermediate to longer term trend right in that area. Sometimes we can get pullbacks into the 100 if it's super deep, even down into this 200. But for the most part, we like to stay up above that 20 and that 50. So the 20 would be roughly at about $912. The 50 would be at about $750. So if we did have a deep retracement, those are buying areas that I would look at. And I also have an alert and alarm at about $852. So just be careful up in this area here. This has been an amazing move for Ethereum. So if we do need to pull back or cool, calm down or consolidate a little bit, that's fine. And I think it would pre present great buying opportunities, in my opinion. Because guys, Ethereum, once it does break out, through its all-time high. I mean, that blue sky breakouts, you know how ETH rips. It could go nuts. So we kind of want to plan, have your positions, everything built so that you can be ready for when we do get the all-time high, you know, that breakout from the previous all-time high for Ethereum. So guys, that's going to be ETH. Look for some consolidation. You know, look to see if we do get something back into this area. And if we don't and Ethereum just continues to go crazy, look for up above, a candle close up above 1,376. So that's going to be Ethereum. Next one I want to get into here. Let's see. We'll look at XRP. And that's at $0.32 cents right now. XRP, the most important thing. For us today would be to close up above this 200 moving average, finally get back up above that. That's going to be important for longer term investors. So daily candle close up above that. Then we'd have to try to get up above this 150 moving average, and that would be roughly about 36 cents are going to be the overhead resistances we need to deal with. In terms of support, we'd want to hold, we'll call it 28 cents. Right now the RSI is at 48 and the stock's at 70 and 55. So we're just looking at that reaction bounce right now, and we're going to see if we can hold this area and maybe get that next leg to the upside if the volume does step in. Because like we talked about, guys, XRP is a fun one to trade because it's all over the place. Like I said, I've never been, you know, the strongest. I want a long-term invest in XRP. I just think it presents great trading opportunities. So that's why I want to cover it. Next one we're going to go into is Bitcoin Cash, guys. We've talked about this one even back around $150. I know even if you don't like the fundamentals of it, money's coming into it. So this is one that can really run hard when it picks up. Right now, the most important thing would be to close, have a daily candle close up above $500. And then if we can do that, it would be up to around $594. If we zoom out on this area, this is going to be a key overhead resistance area for us to have a daily candle close up above right here at $500. And what we want to see is continued volume coming in to be able to stay up above that. RSI is at 76, stocks at 92 and 93 right now. And you can see all these red resistances that now I'm going to have to turn green as I go back through my charts. But that's how fast we can break through overhead resistance with Bitcoin Cash. So always pay attention to it. We're well up above our 20, 50, 100, and 200. And with it being one of the coins that Grayscale is investing in, 
you know you always want to keep your eye on it so really watch those areas for bitcoin cash if you like me covering that let me know down low eos we were talking about this the other day reason why i'm talking about eos guys is because of how how suppressed was same deal i'm not the biggest you know long-term investor guy in eos but compared to a lot of the other altcoins it's been fairly suppressed and this has been a coin that has roughly been about $23 before. And when I was talking about it previously, it was about $3.15, somewhere right in that range. But money's starting to come back into that again. And you can see we've almost bottomed out here. We basically just bottomed out. Now you're starting to get impulse waves to the upside. You know, but I, I don't know enough to have or be a long-term investor in EOS. I think it can present great trading opportunities. And that's more so what I'm in this space for. But for EOS, let's take a look at this here. So EOS, we'd want a daily candle close up above roughly $3.50. If we get that, we'd look up to around $3.88. In terms of support, see if we can hold about $3.30. The RSI is at 68 right now. Stock's at 84 and 85. So this is one, if it can get through a few areas here, it might have a nice shot up to around $5 in the days and weeks to come. So I'll be keeping an eye on EOS as well. Dash is 108, so it's nice to see that coming back a little bit here, up 12%. Want to get into Link as well. We're at about $17. So if you guys go back and look at the Link video we were, we were talking about, this was the area, like right down in here. And these are things you always want to pay attention to. And uptrends, you can see over here, we found nice support off it. So when you get to those areas, sometimes it can present great buying opportunities. So keep an eye on that. But for Link, if we can get up above $17.03, have a daily candle close right up above that area, even up to $17.50, then we'd look up to around $20. And that would be our previous all-time high. And if you take a look here, if we get over top of this, those blue sky breakouts, that's when things could get really exciting. We could be looking up to around even potentially $50 pretty fast. Kind of similar to like when we broke out back in here at around $5, and then we just made that parabolic move. And then we just kept rolling to the upside there. So keep an eye on that. We're at 65 on the RSI. Stock's at 73 and 81 right now. If you're here for link, let me know down low. We'll take a look at Tezos. Tezos is up above the 200 moving average, very important for it. We've been trading below it for quite a long time now, so we need a daily candle close again uh, up above it today. And that would roughly be at about $2.64. Then we'd look up to around $2.78, then to around $3.21. But we've really bottomed out here, and this is where we need to get that trend moving to the upside now. RSI at 64, stock at 82 and 87. And if you take a look at Tezos here, on the longer term, you can see we're well in a nice uptrend, and now we're just seeing if we can change that trend like we did back in here. This is one, too, that can really get explosive when money comes in, comes in fast. So pay attention to Tezos. If you're here for Tezos, let me know down low as well. Let me see if there's any I want to take a further look at here. Bitcoin's at 40854 ETC's having a nice day up 13. XLM. Main area of support we want to hold for XLM is going to be about 20 cents. Right now we're at 31 cents. You can see this top right up in here. We had some selling pressure, so we'd also have to get up above 40 cents. Then we'd be looking up to around that 48 cents, right in that range. Relative strengths in at 71 right now. Stock 76 and 85. But this is one as well. When it gets going and, and parabolic and some money's been going from XRP into XLM, you want to pay attention to that type of stuff. We're up above our 20, our 50, 100, and 200 moving average there. Looking nice and strong. So if you're here for that XLM, let me know. Civics at about 15 cents. Did you bite 3 cents? Zcash having a nice day up 10% at 75.91. See here, loop rings at 40 cents. So that's what I was looking to bring here today, guys. Just want to give you a quick one. God bless you all. Take care. Have an amazing weekend, my friends.